All right, so we're uh, going to look at pointers, and we're working through the Go programming language chapter two. Brian uh, Kernighan and Donovan, Alan Donovan, and uh, we'll take a look at their file, open recent, right there. Zero fifty eight pointers. Main dot go package main bonk main and uh, and then you know just like before even looking at the book let's say we have x colon equal forty two and uh, and then we could font dot print line x and we could also print f print f and do a percent t new line, print out the type of x, and then we could copy this and uh, we could say what is the address of x, we could take the address and we could print out the type of that, and copy this, and uh, we wanted to, we could dereference that, so the pointer is uh, operator and it dereferences. And so we could see the value stored. So this gives us the address, this gives us the value at the address. And strangely enough, we could just keep doing that. Well, now I've got a value at the address, give me the address, you know, and you could just keep doing that. And so this is a uh, 58. And CD 058, go run main. All right, so we get 42 as an int, and then we add that ampersand, and we get here's the address where that's stored in memory, and, that, and now the value there is a pointer to an int. All right, so that value is a pointer to an int. And then we say dereference that, you know, so you're showing me the reference, dereference it, show me the value. This says show me the value at a reference at an address. And so now it shows me 42 and an int. And then down here I say, well, show me the address of the value at the address of that value. <laughs> right? So you could just keep doing between the, you know, like ampersand gives you the address, asterisk as an operator gives you the value. If you have an address, use the asterisk, get the value. If you have a value, use the ampersand, get the address. You could go back and forth. And, uh, and when you see this percent int, this is, an, this, is not, this is not an operator. This is a part of the type, right? So that's like pointer to an int. So that's different than the asterisk as the operator give me the value. That's just part of the type. That's pointer to an int. That's like a string. That's like a bool. That's like a slice of int, right? That's just part of the type. You're pointing to an int. You have the address where an int is stored is what that says. And, uh, and then what you could do is if you have a function, func foo, and the function takes in a pointer to an int, um, and then it could, you know, you could pass in here with foo, I could pass in the address of x, right? And then I could say, okay, I have a pointer to an int. I'm going to dereference that, which gives me the value, and set the value equal to 999. And so now if I print x, it'll be 999. And that's called mute, mutability. So I'm mutating a value when you pass in a pointer. And then we talked about method sets, did we not? We did, right? Is this helpful? Let me see if this is helpful to kind of just like kind of hit this stuff again and go through the book and then see me doing it again. Elaine, is it helpful for you? Yeah? Mark, helpful? So I'm just looking at the book examples here on page 32. And page 33, see if any of them are interesting to look at. Um, all 
All right. Let's call that good. This video is good. This pointers.